This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Aries from July 15th, July 29th, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? Ooh, big scary change. Nine of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Someone in your energy is having a massive change. This is something that, that, that they held back from doing. And where there wasn't happiness in this connection with this person, there's gonna be compounded happiness. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups between you. This is gonna make you both very happy. For the long term. Let's clarify your person here with this death card. Ooh, things are getting really interesting. We got the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups. This person wants to be your perfect partner. They, they're gonna be doing something absolutely selfless towards this connection. And you're, <laughs> I feel you're more grounded in this. They're making the move towards you, whatever it is. You're benefiting. This is nothing but a benefit for you. There's something that, let's clarify, Six of Pentacles here, some more. Something big is about to happen. King of Pentacles. So we got Earth energy and we got, we got water energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Either or. That's, that's the person you got coming towards you. And the Five of Swords. It seems that they were with somebody. This person of yours. They had somebody They had some sort of connection to what could have been a boss, someone who, who had a lot of power over them financially. And they're not trusting that connection. Something went awry there. It seems they were giving this person too much. Somebody was benefiting off them. And that's bringing about this big change. Whoa. We got the high priestess here. Pisces energy. Or sorry, cancer energy. This is somebody that, that you've... This, this was like your object of desire, this person. That came out of nowhere. Just stuck to the back. This person was your object of desire. They were involved in what could have been a business deal or someone who was employing them, something like that. That situation went awry and it forced them into this big change. This is someone who you felt was unattainable. Perhaps you felt you had a spiritual connection towards them. But now they're ready to give you some cups of love. 
Let's carry on here. Let's get to the random love generated questions. What does the love interest think of most often when they think of you? Probably something really good. Let's see. Ace of Swords and an Epiphany. Ten of Swords. You were pursuing this person. There was, it's like they, they realized they could have betrayed this connection somehow. They're having an epiphany. It's like you, you were moving very progressively towards this, this love interest. You were, you were, you were full out, very confident energy. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords here. Whoa. Yearning for them? For you? Ambition. So you, your ambition was to get this person. They were yearning for you. Perhaps this was self-sabotage. And they're just realizing this now. They're realizing that they had a yearning for you. Perhaps they, they're they manifesting you. And when you came out, it just, they denied it somehow. Really interesting here. Let's, uh, let's keep going and see if this is what this epiphany is all about. Before we continue with the questions, Let's get a clarifying spread for, for this Ten of Swords. What? How did your love interest view this Ten of Swords from their perspective? Seven of Wands. The world. And the King's Swords. They were definitely defensive towards it. So, so it was coming from their end. Your approach was out of the box. It, it wasn't something that this person was used to. And with the world here, it, it's like, it's like you're asking them to, to ascend. You could have been asking them to move. I'm focusing on this figure with two feet on two separate pieces of land. They were defensive towards this because it, it seemed like it, it seemed like you were asking the world of them. It's a very unique approach you took. It was, Logical, but it was so out of the box that this person was defensive. And even though that they're realizing now that that's, they should have took you up on that, but it's like they were denying themselves. This person sees you as someone Someone who has a lot of status. It could have intimidated them. We saw a lot of kings so far. Interesting. Let's get back to the questions. What message does your love interest have for you right now? That was weird. The hermit. We found some enlightenment. Knight of Cups, there's some quick news coming. Ten of Wands. You may be wanting to give up on this.
Let's clarify the Nine of Swords here. For them, maturity. For you, wasted time. This person has come to the realization that they want to be with you. They've matured. Perhaps someone in their energy enlightened them to it. The hermit is that card of a mentor, so someone that is trusted, some, someone that is wise. It could be this person maturing or it could be someone telling them what's what. But it's clear that, that you're... You can't put any more work into this than you've already put, you know. It's almost like you want to give up. The weight's just too much. You've waited for a long time. So this person knows they need to act fast. <sighs> what action would a love interest like you to take towards them? I don't think you're up to that, but let's ask that anyway. Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Moon card. This, I don't feel this is up to you. This person is, is doing something sneaky. Let's clarify this Three of Cups here. Page of Cups, Two of Swords, yeah. Your energy is not doing anything here. It's almost like, like you're oblivious to what this person is up to. They're doing something sneaky. Page of Cups is a pleasant surprise. It's like they want to get your attention with the Three of Cups here. But they want this to be a surprise for you. You can't know about this with this moon energy. It's something that's going to catch you off guard. You're, you're blind to this. You're doing something sneaky here. It's meant to be a secret. They don't want you to know, but they want, they want it to be a pleasant surprise. Something that's going to get your attention. Interesting. <laughs> In the extended, we'll look into what secret came between you in the past. We'll ask what will happen if you reach out to this love interest in the next two weeks. These are all random generated questions. But a good question. How can you prepare for the arrival of the love interest? It doesn't look like they're coming to you. That could be the surprise. What are they planning for the future with you? Oh, perfect. Ending question. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best with your choices. Much love.